we are here with Professor Marcus Molenbruch, Molenbruch, uh, the head of interventional radiology at the Heidelberg University Hospital in German, for this link uh, newsletter interview about NIVO. So, Professor Marcus Molenbruch, welcome to this interview. Thank you, Igor. And Professor, we're going to talk a little bit about the MIVO treatment. Um, what do you think is the most important tips and tricks to do this MIVO treatments during a stroke? So uh, first of all, uh, when we discuss MIVO, um, we can think about the different techniques uh, which we can use. So on one hand, we have aspiration. And on the other hand, we can think about the use of stent retriever. And um, as far as I know, uh, so there are no dedicated randomized control trials comparing these two different techniques for MIVOs, but we know from different uh, single center experience and retrospective uh, case series that I think there is a tendency uh, for a higher first pass rate uh, when we um, use the stent retriever approach. So therefore, um, uh, if we talk about M2, A2 or P2 occlusions, usually we, we use uh, the stent retriever approach for large vessel occlusions, especially if it's an M1 occlusion, we, we um, tend to use uh, more aspiration compared to uh, stent retriever use. But that's obviously related to the uh, material which is available and so far we are more happy uh, with the smaller stent retrievers for example the solitaire three uh, millimeter device compared to small aspiration catheters so oh, and i know professor max molin that you have a large experience with this new solitaire x three millimeters uh, could you please share with us some uh, cases with this new solitaire x uh, three millimeters. Perfect. Okay. So here you see uh, a patient with only a minor symptom. So NIH uh, of three uh, with a wake up stroke. And uh, we performed a perfusion CT where you see that there is almost no infarct core. Uh, so therefore, uh, we decided to treat um, the patients. So on, on DSA, it's clear that this patient has an um, occlusion of the inferior trunk, especially if you look on the lateral view, you see uh, that the inferior trunk is occluded. So uh, usually what we use, uh, especially for um, MIVOs, we like to use the combination of uh, proximal balloon guide catheter an aspiration catheter and a stent retriever. This is what you see here on the lateral view. You see um, a balloon guide catheter, which is located at the cervical level of the ICA. If you combine it with an intermediate aspiration catheter, there is no need to place the balloon as distal as possible because uh, we, have the, um, we have an intermediate catheter in place. So therefore, the idea to use the balloon guide catheter is just to control the flow and the aspiration is performed via the um, intermediate catheter. So then you see that uh, the solitaire at 3 by 20 is um, deployed in the inferior trunk. And in this case, uh, we used the headway 17 soft, but you can also use uh, another microcatheter, for example, phenom. Um, uh, 17, which we uh, also um, like to use. And then in this case, it was quite easy. It was just one pass with uh, the combination of aspiration and proximal balloon occlusion, and we were able to open up the vessel and the patient had a good outcome. But the problem is that you, um, this is what we call this, uh, the Sylvian point. The Sylvian point is an uh, angiographic point, which is most medial, where the last uh, cortical MCA branch, which is here uh, marked with a yellow cycle, turns inferiorly to exit the Sylvian fissure. So here you see in case example on lateral view, where um, a very 
yeah, important vessel is occluded because this is uh, responsible for the Rolandic uh, um, area. And um, now you see what, what uh, can happen. So here it's definitely visible that the stent retriever is located at least at the level of distal M2, M3, or maybe it's all also located at uh, the surface, so at uh, level M M4. And in this case, after one pass, that it was very easy to take the clot out and you see a nice recognition, but different patient with a similar occlusion. And the problem is, of course, that always when you uh, work in the area of the sylvian fissure that you straighten the vessel course. So here in yellow, you see the stent retriever in place. And after one pass, there's an externalization, which is marked here in red. And uh, this was confirmed on DynaCT uh, uh, with a contrast externalization. And the problem is the straightening. In this case, we were lucky because the um, vessel uh, was recanalized. But this is nicely described here by these um, drawings from Marius Psychogios, where you see if you uh, position a sent retriever at the level of M3, and then if you retrieve the sent retriever, you will straighten up the course and all the tiny branches, which you don't see on DSA. So the cortical medullary branches um, you can um, dissect due to the straightening of the course. And then you see some contrast externalization or some bleeding. So that's that's a problem. One option is to use um, the solitaire. And here you see it in direct comparison because here it seems that the tendis, tendency of vessel deflection is lower compared to other stent retrievers which are not dedicated for such uh, small vessels. So this could be an uh, advantage over um, other uh, stent retrievers. So I stop here. So maybe you have some questions and then I, I will continue. Thank you very much, Professor uh, Marcus Molinkuas of these two amazing cases. Just one question. So the Solitaire X three millimeters is compatible with O uh, 017 microcatheter. This is a very important point. Yes, you can use it with O70, but it's also possible to use it with the um, O165 microcatheter. This is also possible. So, for example, a headway duo, um, which is sometimes sometimes helpful because it's a little bit longer, like an Echelon 10, for example, um, um, has a smaller inner diameter. The friction is a little bit higher, but you can still use it uh, with a Solitaire X. The other option would be, of course, a Phenom 17, because here the, the catheter length is all, also a little bit longer than 150 centimeters. But, but, but basically, you can use every kind uh, of uh, micro catheter. So thank you very much, Professor Marcus, to be here with uh, me doing this link interview for the link newsletter for about uh, Nivo. So it was a huge pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Professor. Thank you.